Good morning, guys. Hello, my name is Hope, and I'm a seedholic. Welcome to our channel if you're new. And if you're not new, say it with us. Hello, my name. Hello, my name is, and I'm a seedholic. And what I'm doing is showing you a variation on your spaghetti squash recipe. Most people take this spaghetti squash. This is what it looks like when it's whole, but mine are cut in half for prep already because of my disability. Uh, most people will take and um, bake them and string them with a fork for um, using in place of pasta. I'm doing something a little different. My girlfriend, Shelly, at work taught me this recipe and I think you'll enjoy it. So, first thing first is still the same. Get a little oil in there. I'm gonna put a little on each one. Then, I have my basting brush. I'm just gonna spread that all around all of them so they're nice and coated on the top so they can bake nicely. And very much like the, oh, got a couple seeds left over, so give me a second to grab those out. Um, very much like the concept of seasoning your water in pasta, I'm going to season my squash so that um, I get better flavor for this dish. And for this dish, we're using a few seasonings, um, garlic powder, garlic salt, and here's the secret, ground cumin, not cumin seed, ground cumin. So... Um, let's start with the garlic salt. You know, salt means safe flavor. So let's get a little salt in there. And uh, it doesn't have to be this brand. You can use whatever brand you want. And I like fresh, crisp, fresh pepper. So I've got a grinder. And camera guy helped me grind it up already. And I'm a big fan of black pepper. So mine's probably a little... Ooh, that went a little heavy. So I'm going to take my basting brush and go over that again and spread that out because that might be a little heavy in that one spot, guys. But we'll work it out, get it shared around other places. So we want a little pepper. Um, I'm adding a little garlic powder. And I think her recipe called for onion powder, but I'm out of it. So I'm kind of... Um, Making improvising. It, improvising, thank you, that's the word. And I like the look of parsley on things. And this one's not open, but that's okay. But the You'll hand that to the camera guy. Okay, gladly. The ground cumin oh, it's open. Oh, you meant the um parsley. The cumin I'm going to pour into my spoon because we don't want a lot of that a little bit goes a long way with cumin powder. So I'm going to actually take that and sprinkle that by hand on each one because we don't want to overpower our squash. Thank you. My parsley is open. Yay. Then, for the second, once this bakes, you bake it off like you would um, your spaghetti squash, any other, for any other recipe, your 45 minutes till it's soft and you're going to string it out. But the kicker for this is once it's stringy, we're going to add cheese. And she suggested Parmesan and mozzarella. And I don't have Parmesan and mozzarella. In my fridge, I got some pepper jack, I got some slices of American, and I've got some feta. So I'm going to take some butter and make a bechamel, and that's what I'm going to use for my cheese sauce. So we're going to get this in the oven, and we'll get back to you in a little while. Do you have a temperature? Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Um, 350 degrees um, for 45 minutes. We'll get it soft and your fork will help you string it out and at that point I'll put it in another pan and I will bake it with the cheese. So the goal is still to string it like spaghetti? Yes, we're just using different flavors. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, will there be a sauce for this or do you... The bechamel is a cheese sauce so that will be the sauce. We're using cheese instead of pasta. And I would say if you wanted to do this for pasta, oh, that's a lot of pepper. We're going to have to do a little help. It's um, uh, cheese instead of pasta, you're not using a tomato. Yeah, not a tomato-based sauce, and most people have never used ground cumin on their squash. But you'll be surprised that the flavor is fabulous, you guys. Um, try it the first time with the Parmesan and mozzarella, and then you can improvise from there. And if you do like tomato-based sauces and you want to know how to make your spaghetti, um, just like I said, you bake it 350, 45 minutes, and take a fork and string it up. And whatever your sauce you've made, homemade, um, doctored up jarred sauce, frozen sauce from the deep freezer that you've already done and put it over the strings. This is a good option for people 
who are gluten free, who are diabetic, because it won't raise your glycemic index. So that would be me. That's why I'm doing this. And um, if you're a vegan, just eliminate the butter and the cheese and just use the cumin and some other spices to bump up your flavors. And I will post probably a picture on the community page once it's all done so you guys can see it. And the entire recipe and some variations and you tell me what you think when you try it. So that's all I got for this video for now. I will be back, um, like I said, later once it's baked off and I've strung it out and put it in my um, casserole and put the cheese sauce over it and baked it off. And we'll get a taste test on camera and we'll see what people think. We'll see you guys next time. As always, happy gardening and blessings of bounty. And may your gardens and your lives always bring you joy, inspiration, good flavors, and abundance. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.